back to Buffalo Bills pregame week seven. Big victory overtime for the Buffalo Bills. And that's the story of the week. Was it a Bills victory or a Cardinals loss? Jared, you've had some time to think this over. What do you think? The Bills blow this one? Or the Cardinals blow this one? Yeah, no, no. I think the Bills actually had the upper hand most of the game. That was my feeling after the second quarter. I'm like, you know what? I think we got this. But there were a lot of mistakes made at the end, or a lot of between the Jay Feely kick and Brad Smith's interception. I think that kind of cancels each other out. I think the I think the Bills deserve the victory. Nikia? I was actually traveling on Sunday, so I didn't get to see the game. I was just watching the uh, updates on Facebook, and it seems that everybody was thinking we were letting it go, that we were winning in the beginning, and then all of a sudden things started to fall apart, and they became the typical Bills, where they, as some will put it, snatched... Uh, what defeat from victory or something like that? But from what I saw, they uh, they weren't they didn't win the game. The um, it would seem that the Bills are not a team that adjusts well mid game coaching mm -hmm. wise. Um, do you think that the coaching has improved as the season has gone along for the Buffalo Bills? Um, I don't think so. Unfortunately, the last two weeks I've been crazy busy, so I haven't really like sat and watched the games. But the San Francisco game is like, what happens when you're losing? Um, you got three points in the first half and you don't score any more points. Like, what did you guys talk about during halftime that you don't score any points? And then this game, it seems that, okay, they had the upper hand and then they started to fall apart. So it doesn't seem like they're getting any better. <laughs> Has coaching improved in your view, Jared? I think it improved for one game. I still think there's a lot of question marks. And I think... Uh, Jan Gailey and Dave Watson have saved their job for another week. But other than that, I mean, they have there's a lot of questions still on coaching. I think they coach a little bit better this week in terms of the running game and trying to get the ball <coughs> less to Fitzpatrick. You think it's so bad that it's week to week for Chan Gailey that he could lose his job that quickly? Um, given those two games, yeah, possibly. Craig Urbic may be back, which would make the offensive line look a lot better. Um, is that going to have a huge impact on the offense if he's returned? Yeah, yeah, it will, but honestly, I would rather prefer Corey Glenn to come back um, to fill in the left tackle spot. But uh, what do you think? That's if you had like the choice as to who is <laughs> healed in order to play this game, it wouldn't be Craig Urbic. We're sorry, Craig. We don't choose to magically fix you, but I'm, I'm next. Just I'm just saying, yes, it'd be great. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Are right, going into this game offensively, do we need to more more passing game? Is keep on letting Fitzpatrick throw the ball the majority of the time, or do we need to go back to the running that we had success with earlier in the season? I think they need to stick with the run. Fitzpatrick is not consistent, so they need to stick with what they're good at, and that's running. When he gets it together, maybe, but as far as depending on that arm, I wouldn't. The Titans are the 29th overall ranked defense in the <laughs> league. The, the offense should have a chance to make uh, some plays. Do you think that both uh, Spiller and Jackson are back to full strength, or do you think their injuries are lingering still? No, their injuries are still lingering. Neither one of them has posted a 100-yard game in a while, and I know they were, Spiller was when he was the only one running. I'll give you that, but I think they still have a few more weeks left to go. But I want to reiterate, I liked what they did with the running backs. It wasn't every other drive, Jackson Spiller, Jackson Spiller. They mixed them up. They put them in and out. They confuse the defense. If they stick to that, it'll help the healing process. Fortunately, they have not found an old washed-up running back to come in and fill in a spot in the running back position as they have as a linebacker. Sean Merriman, for better or worse, is back on the Bills, a team he has clearly showed he has no desire to play for. Nakia, do you think this impacts our defense whatsoever? No, because if he was that good of a player, they wouldn't have released him at all. If, he, if they thought he could make a difference, they should have kept him. But they obviously didn't think he was good enough to make the original team, so they let him go. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what the science is behind bringing him back. I think you need to stick with what you have because he's not – the Bills are all about short-term fixes. They're not thinking about long-term. He's not a long-term fix. He may have another year, if that, in him, and then he's done. So what do you do after that? you got to find somebody else. So you need to develop what you have and leave him alone. I have a theory about why we brought him back. <laughs> well, um, I, I like the idea that science has something to do with it because your knee jerk reaction <laughs> absolutely is nothing. Does not tell you this is a good move. What's your theory? Jim? My theory is Kyle <laughs> Moore didn't have any plays during that game, and I stressed last week that that was a step up for Kyle Moore. Yeah, he was in the backfield a few times, but they kept Kyle Moore and got rid of Merriman for that reason. So they're like, oh, hey, who was that guy before Kyle Moore? Don't understand why we cut him because here's the problem. 
What if Mark Anderson goes out week two? Well, thank goodness Buddy Nick's watched the show, but did you have to go with picking up Merriman again? <laughs> um, Hasselback is back starting for the uh, Titans. Is um, taking over a low-ranked offense. Is he going to make the difference against the Buffalo Bills? He's a better quarterback than Fitzpatrick, and I have a huge amount of respect for Matt Hasselbeck. But given, just given what the Titans have been doing this year, Chad Johnson has not been living it up to his full potential at all. I um, mean, you got Kenny Britton, Nate Washington, are decent receivers, but just <laughs> as a whole team, they're just not putting it together. Um, their their coach is still fairly young, second year coach. Um, that's definitely, I think, an impact. They haven't done much since Jeff Fisher left. I mean, we've talked about their offense for a little bit here, and we haven't even mentioned Chris Johnson. Is he going to be a factor in this game coming up against a Bills team that is ranked 32nd in rush defense? Probably just because of who he's playing. He might not do it against anybody else, but because, <laughs> you know, we seem to lay down when they run the ball. I mean, he could have a 200-yard game and have not, not do it for the rest of the season. It's not that the Titans are garbage. It's, you know, they've... One, they've lost, you know, some close games, so I think they're just waiting for the opportunity to win. I'm hoping it's not this week, but, you know, Chris Johnson, he could have 200 yards in a losing effort, and that's what we hope for. The Buffalo Bills have a habit of making the Tennessee Titans look really good. Yes. Uh, we do not have a topic of conversation this week. The topics that were all recommended were so terrible, we don't want to give any of you, shh, we don't want to give any of you the chance to win $100. So next week, we'll have two topics of conversation. Please submit them in the comment area below, and two people will be entered for the big $100 giveaway. This is 100 real dollars, not a gift certificate, not a prepaid visa. You can use it to pay for whatever you need, and you just have to comment below. So on to keys of the game. Nakia, what do the Bills have to do to win this game? Um, just like I said, they need to stop the run. They haven't really done it all season. Everybody's been running all over us, even in the games that we've won. The running backs have had good games, so they need to stop the run. Uh, mine's a defensive uh, key as well. I believe that pass rush, again, um, that's how we won last week, and we got to knock down Hasselbeck just as much as we knocked down Cobb. I mean, maybe knock him out of the game, get Rusty Smith in there, perhaps, who knows. But pass rush won it last week. That's how we're going to stop the pass. I have been unfairly criticizing the quarterback a little bit, perhaps. He is terrible, but the coaches have finally come to realize it, and they've been strategizing the game around the fact they can't trust him to make a 10-yard throw down the field. So as long as we can continue to game plan around our untalented quarterback, we should be able to pull out a victory against a struggling Titans team this year. This I picked the Bills to win a close game 24-21. Sorry. Um, Surprised I'm, you with that one. No. Shazam. No, no surprise. Um, I think the Titans are going to win. The Titans always have the Bills number. Um, I think if we beat Arizona, or we lost Arizona, we would have had a chance for desperation mode, but Titans are going to win this game 23-16. You'd think with your respect for history, you'd be more of a baseball fan than you are. No. Nikia? <laughs> I'm actually going to go with the Bills on this one just because they're home and I want them to keep the streak going. So hopefully, you know, whatever they think they did last week and it worked, that they continue to do it. So I'm actually going to pick them to win, but I don't think they're going to score a lot of points. I think it's going to be a, a low-scoring game. I'm going 17-10. Well, you heard it here first. The biggest homer on the production team here, Jared, is picking the Bills to lose, and the rest of us are picking them to win. And you That's guys are picking them to go 4-3 and three into the bye. We have no choice now. Winning record. Okay. Winning record. Thanks, guys. <laughs> We're off next week. We get to take time off for the uh, Buffalo Bills pregame. Nakia, where are you going? Cancun? Yeah. Jared? Home. <laughs> I'll see you in uh, Berlin. Those of you fans out there, and um, back in two weeks. Yeah, wait for the documentary from Berlin in the bye week.